Hi, in this video, we're gonna talk about aerobic capacity training, specifically while using blood flow restriction cuffs. So we're gonna need a few items from our patient, our client, or ourselves in order to make this calculation. The first thing we're gonna need is heart rate max. The second thing we're gonna need is the resting heart rate. Then we can calculate our heart rate reserve. We'll take the heart rate reserve, we'll multiply that times the percentage of intensity we wanna work at, and uh, then that will help us calculate how many beats per minute we wanna exercise at in order to get that physiological adaptation that we're looking for. Heart rate reserve is a good estimate of VO2 max, so that's why we're utilizing heart rate reserve um, in this example. And it's an easy calculation for us to make in the clinic or in the fitness facility. So the first thing that we need is your max heart rate. And the way to do this is take 220 and subtract your age. I'm 45 years old, so 220 minus 45 is gonna give me 175 beats per minute. That's my heart rate max. Then I need to get my resting heart rate. The best way to do this is to calculate this before you get up out of bed, because that way your, your heart rate hasn't elevated, you haven't eaten, you're fully relaxed. Um, there's two different ways that you can find this. The first way is to find your radial pulse. And I would just set a timer on my phone to count down from one minute. I would start with my first beat that I feel with zero, and then I would keep counting until that minute is elapsed. In my case, my resting heart rate is 60. So 60 beats per minute is my resting heart rate. I take the max heart rate, I subtract my resting heart rate, and that's gonna give me my heart rate reserve, which is going to be 115. I then take 115, my resting, my heart rate reserve, and multiply that times the percentage that I wanna train at, which is 30% of my heart rate reserve, or it's about 30% of my VO2 max. So 0.3 times my heart rate reserve, which is 115, then, and I could actually put parentheses around that to make it easier, I take this number, I add it to 60, and it's gonna give me 95 beats per minute. So the 95 beats per minute is what's gonna be my target training heart rate. So I can jump on the treadmill, put a heart rate monitor on my patient, or they can hold on to the hands, hand bars if they have that in the, in the treadmill. Um, I like to use a Skosh, um, it's a forearm heart rate monitor that then gets projected Bluetooth to my phone so I can monitor it from afar. I elevate them to one um, degree or one elevation. That mimics being outside for wind resistance and other factors. And then they walk slowly and increase the speed until they get to that 95 or that target beats per minute. They then hold that um, for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how long you want them to train for, no longer than 20 minutes. If somebody's really trained, they're very fit, you're gonna have to start them higher at about 45% of their heart rate reserve. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, otherwise, use this as your guide in order to start training your individuals using blood flow restriction training. Thank you.